Welcome to Soika Pavilion on the campus of Bucknell University, where it's early March, and that means one thing. It's conference tournament time. The top seed Bucknell Bison beating the nine seed Holy Cross Crusaders. Here are the Patriot League quarterfinals. Quick look at the bracket shows Holy Cross its first road win of the year the other night on the road at Loyola. And they try and knock out this top seeded Bucknell team that comes in on a four game winning streak. So glad that you're with us here on the Patriot League Network on Campus Insiders with Bob Valvano, Matt Martucci. Well, song remains the same here in Lewisburg. New head coach and Nathan Davis ends up being the coach of the year and his team doesn't miss a beat in league play. Yeah, they are doing it very differently. They play a lot more up-tempo. Defensively, they've changed even more drastically than offensively. But as you said, when it was all said and done, they're the regular season champions. They'd like to change the script on the tournament from last year, though, and this is the first step for them to try and do that. And how about the Holy Cross Crusaders' first road win of the year under Bill Carmody, uh, another first-year head coach who has plenty of experience behind his belt. Yeah, you know, one of the things you're looking for when you're in a rebuilding situation your first year, you want to find out who can play for you. You want to take every hurdle as a significant step forward. That was a very significant win to get your first road win in the first round of the tournament on the road. That's a big step forward. And they got another great opportunity tonight to do the dramatic and topple the top seed. Second straight year that these two programs will meet. And of course, Bucknell is led by what is a talented backcourt, Stephen Brown and an all league selection now three times in Chris Haas. Well, Stephen Brown just beats you so many ways. You see him right there taking the ball to the basket. He's quick. He's an all defensive team member. And that last number, 82% from the free throw line, he's got that up from the 40s last year. So he's shown some great improvement. Now Haas is a guy that absolutely can beat you with a variety of offensive skills. You see him, the pull-up jumper going left, he can make threes off the pass, he can make threes off the catch and shoot. Look at that with his back to the basket and turn around. The guy had 40 points against Army, a variety of skills. He is a handful to defend for any team. As for Holy Cross, the guy to watch for the Crusaders, he's a freshman and he's going to be a really good one, Carl Charles. Yeah, you know, when you play a system like Bill Carmody plays, you need a guy with unique skill sets. Carl Charles is one of those guys. And look at the numbers in the first round game here in the tournament. 23 points, six steals. He plays defense. He can face the basket. You see him put it to the floor there. He's already good and he's going to do nothing but get better. So it's the Crusaders and the Bison meeting for the third time this season. Bucknell took the first two. How does this one play out? We're about to find out. The Crusaders, the Bison, Patriot League quarterfinals, up next on Campus Insiders. Just over a minute gone by here from Lewisburg. Home team has been very dominant in this series as Green, right off the bat, has four early points. He's already exceeded his average. That's a great start. And that's the thing about being up in the Princeton-style offense. Four can almost feel like 10. Exactly. Could be seven here. And it is. And there he is, Malachi Alexander. Ended up having a good game here last year. Here's Haas to match. Well, that's where the 1-3-1 one, one is vulnerable. In the Thomas with a nice flip to the corner. And as an Aro, instant offense off the bench. Boy, he has really given him a spark off the bench. This is McKenzie, a freshman from Oakville, Ontario. Who had a double-figure game against Holy Cross in one of the two meetings. Yep. And McClay oh. using the baseline. A battle so far. Green continues his hot start. He has that pass, and it's there again. And fouling for the second time. That's high percentage. Haas, mid-range, there it is. You can't come, it's deeper. You can't come off that guy. They looked right inside from the top. Alexander trying to use that post. One and done again. Yeah. And here's what the Bison want to do. Frazier, timeout, Holy Cross. But Crusaders still trail by what's five. Hoffman, baseline. And the first we've heard from Dom Hoffman tonight. Two possession game, Bucknell's largest lead has been seven. Thomas brings it back there. That's a good read, they were in a straight man. Thomas finds himself open and cashes in. And, and 
finish it. He's done that, as you said, twice. Once from the baseline and once there towards the middle. 41-31, Bucknell, but again, Jahiva Floyd, something to say about it. He'll go to the line. This is a good defensive possession for Bucknell. So they've had a lot of movement, a lot of cutting. And Green oh, has man. to force the issue. They made him earn that one. That was a tough shot. Nine minute mark of the second half. Alexander and the Crusaders still in it. Champion ten, 10 on the shot oh, clock. Great block. at the last second. Over to Bucknell. What a terrific block. You know, that's what you love to see. Young man struggled at the free throw line. Just almost airballed one. Look at him come from the weak side there. He's the primary defensive responsibility of Yusek. Look at him come across, time it, clean block, and then turns into a turnover as it goes off at number 42. Frazier, yep. good kick out. Fifth three-pointer of the game for Bucknell. Champion, though, will get a chance to match it the old-fashioned way. Ends up being the 10th team foul. Now they don't shoot, but now from here on out, double bonus. Husek right there. High percentage, mid post. 7 0 run for Holy Cross. Look where we are. Alexander wants the ball, wants the ISO, instead gives it to Husek. Thompson, shot clock winding down. The blow by tie game. Explosive change of pace. Holy Cross going to use every bit of the shot clock. Husek off the fake dribble handoff. Green rising up. Husek for the lead. Yes! 12-2 Crusader run. Back with the Crusaders under the direction of Milan Brown. Look at Thompson, the acrobatics. Husek is there. Husek is playing some big minutes late in the game here. Top seed, are they on the ropes? Haas has something to say about it, but no. And that, Husek rips it away. How did that not go in? Haas. That's the screen they set for him. Instead, it's the sophomore Thomas. No doubt about it. Well, he's been the hero tonight. Thomas has eight rebounds, two assists, and now 11 points. And now Bill Carmody will take a timeout. Two for two on the night. Oh, in and out. He stepped away a little too soon. And now. Nathan Davis is in the perfect situation because they don't have to shoot knowing that if they miss, they've got a foul because they're down. You can choose to play for the last shot if you want to here. Down to 17 seconds. Brown, 15 seconds. Now at 10. Going to take his time. Thomas, six seconds. Haas for the lead. Can't do it. Husek, overtime here in Lewisburg. Thomas thinking about the lead again. Yes, sir. Boy, he just has some terrific composure. Can Look they, out. Can they separate? It's Thomas in traffic too much. Fallon with the jump hook. So athletic. We talked about that. I thought they might. Deliberately try to foul him since he's only a 49% free throw shooter. Zach Thomas has been the hero a couple of times. This time, Ayers making Frazier. Beautiful job again of drawing the two defenders at the top and then making that pass. Actually, it's Charles who wants to create. Nope. Thompson from deep and rattles it home. Oh my goodness. 130 to play. Can it? Husek for the second time. <laughs> Goodness. Step out, big fella. If he doesn't have the three, let him look inside or look for somebody else on a drive. But he needs to handle it on this possession. Here he comes. 18 seconds to go. There Carl it is. Charles Here Husek it is. off the separation. Left wing, left up on the rim. And a foul staying at this end. Thomas. This is the big one. Three-point game, 9.1 to go. Now, do they foul, foul or play? Foul or defend? What's the choice? Let's see. Here comes Thompson, looking for a Husek screen off the dribble. Thompson gets hit. Champion. Three Chance. to tie it! To tie it! Champion as the buzzer sounds! Double overtime! How? 
did he get it off? Looks like he did. Well, the two questions, did he get it off and was he behind the arc? And I think the answer to both of those is yes and yes. We'll find out. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a look. There's the first shot. He dribbles it immediately to the corner. It's off in time. It's behind the line. That's going to be three, folks. We're going to double overtime. An amazing game here in Lewisburg. Oh, he's way behind the line, not even close. And th there's the line. Uh, they, they've already uh, patterned it good. The officials have walked away from the press, the uh, scores table. It's good. we got an extra five minutes to come here from Lewisburg. Now, a senior-laden Army cadet squad is who one of these two teams will get. Alexander deep in traffic and the lead. Haymaker for Haymaker, punch for punch. Crusaders have stayed alive tonight. Alexander, the adjustment, has all four here in the overtime. The double OT. See, there's the pass to the corner I was just talking about. And there's the result. Battle of Wills. Who has it left? Charles with an excellent cut. And who else? Husick. He's been sensational in the overtime. Charles. Dangerous pass to Haas, who nearly had it taken away. Frazier for the tie. Can't. Fallon. Big rebound. Missed the layup. Hoffman keeps it in. 55 seconds to go. Hoffman from the corner for the tie. Couldn't get it. And a rebound for Charles. Wait, Hoffman's a terrific shooter. 40% three-point shooter. But Holy Cross dodging all sorts of bullets there. This is an enormous possession to get it to a two-possession game this deep into the second overtime. 40 seconds to play, make it 35 of the double overtime. 72-69, Holy Cross. Five seconds to shoot. Charles for two possessions. Oh, my! Wow! Quiet for much of the night. And with the season on the line, the freshman bangs it right in the bottom. 10 now for Carl Charles. What a terrific pass, and what a calm shot. He sets his feet. He's only a 27% three-point shooter, but you wouldn't know it from that release. That was a terrific execution. Got to get a quick one. And Brown and company taking way too long. Brown with seven seconds left. Heaves a three that's off the mark. Final two seconds. And they turn it over. Over to the far sideline. No fouls. Two seconds to go. And Holy Cross is going to spring the unbelievable upset. The top seed in this Patriot League tournament, the Bucknell Bison, go down here in Lewisburg. Double overtime thriller. And the Holy Cross Crusaders keep marching on. Heading to West Point for a matchup with the Cadets. Wow. How small. 77-72 once again the final score.